So at last we come to lesson seven in the Messiah series. And I've left a long gap because in order to do this that we're going to do today, you need to have at least three weeks practice with lesson six. If you haven't, go back to lesson six, practice for three weeks, and then come to lesson seven. It simply won't work unless you've done the necessary build-up. So, now, what we learned in lesson six was to open the power of your hara. First, at uh, the right physical level, the, the orange, and then at the, well, the field level, the, the white gold. So what we're going to do now is we're going to mm, manifest or decide for two spheres of white gold fire. One in the Hara, which you learned in lesson six, and the other one in your heart, which is right in the middle, your heart chakra, right in the middle of your breastbone. So, you know, upper and lower level, halfway down, directly behind that point is the, the middle of your heart, and that's where your heart chakra is. So, we now have two globalities of um, white gold fire. They're both about oh, half the size of a golf ball. Now, the next phase is to move the energy between these two balls. So you've got a ball here, a ball here, and another ball that moves up and down between them. Very quickly, you will notice something which is difficult to understand intellectually, but it's clearly described in quantum physics. You'll notice that you don't have three separate balls. They're all the same balls. They're here, they're here, and between the two, and it's all the one and the same ball. So just practice moving that this is the, all that's involved in lesson seven, but you will um, be amazed at the effects. They are absolutely stunning. And when you practice this for a while, we can then go on to lesson eight. So enjoy, be amazed, namaste.